Okay, so here we have a problem that says let f of x equal x, excuse me, 8x squared minus 6 all to the power of 6 times 3x squared minus 6 all to the power of 11. And we're trying to find the derivative. So first of all, to take the derivative, we need to first of all find what overall kind of problem this is, what, what main formula we need to use. Well, notice that we have here is one function of x, and that's multiplied by another function of x. So since we have a function of x that's multiplied by another function of x, this will need to use the product rule to find this derivative. So first of all, the product rule is when you have the derivative of f times g, that's equal to the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. So let's identify the first as f and the second is g. And I'll come over to the side to figure out our f prime and our g prime um, because they're a bit complex. So let's write down is our f is our 8x squared minus 6 to the power of 6. And our g is our 3x squared minus 6 to the power of 11. So now to find our f prime, to find our f prime, we have an outside function, which is the power of six, and the inside function, which is the eight x squared minus six. So to take the derivative, we'll need to use the chain rule and use the power rule to find the derivative of the outside function, bring down the six, multiply that by our eight x squared minus six to the power of five. So this is the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function the same. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So we have the 8x squared. We can use the power rule again on that to bring down the 2 and multiply it to make 16x to the power of 2 minus 1 is 1. And we don't have to write a power of 1. And then the constant negative 6 would just go to 0. So it would be left with, with this here. And to simplify just a bit, we can do six times 16, bring in 96 to the front with the X and then have the eight X squared minus six to the power of five. So that would be our simplified F prime. Now let's find our G prime. Our G prime is again, we'll you, we have a chain rule. We have an outside function and an inside function. So we'll use the power rule makes that 11 times leave the inside function the same. Subtract one from the power. And we multiply that by the derivative of the inside, which would be 6x, because this term would go to 0. OK, and simplifying again, 11 times 6 is 66. Bring the x to the front times 3x squared minus 6 to the power of 10. OK. So now we've identified our f, our g, our f prime, and our g prime. So we can plug this into our product rule function. So we get f prime is equal to, or, so this might be a little bit confusing because we're calling this whole function as f, but I'm defining my f as being something different over here. Um, that's just because this is the typical notation. Um, yeah, I hope that's not confusing. So f prime in my formula was, let me use a square bracket, 96x times 8x squared minus 6 to the power of 5. That's all my f prime. Next, I have my g. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this down a little bit because it's a little cramped up here. Let me see if I can, whoop, that did not work at all. Try that one more time. Nope. There it goes, okay. Uh, 
Um, I still don't think I'm going to have enough room, but we'll see how this goes. So times my G, which is 3x squared minus 6 to the power of 11. And then plus, I'll come down here. Now, the next thing I need is my G prime, which is my 66x times 3x squared minus 6 to the power of 10. And then we multiply that by our F. So that is our 8x squared minus 6 to the power of 6. So I hope your teacher will just allow you to leave it kind of as is and not have to simplify it too much. But let's just, um, I just use these square brackets to identify our F prime, G, G prime, and F, but we can drop them and just write it as 96X times, X, no, excuse me, 8X squared minus six to the power of five times 3X squared minus six to the power of 11 plus 66x times 3x squared minus 6 to the power of 10 times 8x squared minus 6 to the power of 6. So I hope that's not confusing, that it's kind of close to the other side. And um, yeah, that would be all of this is all our derivative very long and gross derivative. But there you go. So I hope that was helpful. And um, yeah, I don't do retakes. So I hope that <laughs> this worked out well. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.